Can one low grade in grad school cost somebody a career? One former grad student thinks so and is demanding her university pay up in a lawsuit against Lehigh University and the professor who gave her the grade. With more on this, Ashley Merchant, attorney, and Lise Wheel. She's back, Fox News legal analyst. Ashley, I'll start with you. Should this have been a lawsuit? Yes, it should. This is the, the way that we resolve disputes in this country is a system of civil justice where people can bring lawsuits. But bring a lawsuit over what? Over a grade? I mean, that's sort of academic freedom. The professor had a whole uh, mechanism set up on grading, and she received zero out of 25 points for class participation. And that's what brought her grade down a whole point, or a whole grade, a whole letter grade. The reason but, she got the zero is because she was acting out in class. She'd been right. given numerous but, warnings but about this. But the question this. is, should it have been a suit or should it have been resolved some other way? Of course it should have been resolved some other way. You don't sue over a bad grade, Jerry. Well, to that point, Ashley, uh, apparently she wasn't participating in class, and that's What's amazing to me is this would have been so easy to fix, and you got to know that's happening. Now, the student, for her part, says uh, she's a gay student and that her, her professor didn't like that, and that's why she got the bad grade. So what do you make of that? Well, it sounds... It sounds like the professor had something against this student, and so the student should have had her day in court and is, is being able to have her day in court. Really? And it's only fair that she be able to, well, it's only every fair that she somebody, be able to tell her side of the story. Every, well, the, the, yeah, you could tell your side of the story and go to the teacher and talk to the teacher. By the way, the teacher had given her no, numerous verbal and written warnings, so this was coming as no shock to her. Look, I've taught law school for many, many years, and I, I have to admit, I've given out C's when the, when the students are kids, I almost said, when they deserved it. Well, and, here's my question. But Why this, didn't she just ask for a changed grade? Because that, to me, would have made... Or at least gone and tried to get sense. The, no, She no. did. She's asked for a changed grade, but, and that's part of this lawsuit, actually. She said she would drop her lawsuit. She would be happy with $1 if the grade was changed. But she asked for $1.3 million. Exactly. That's what she was seeking in this lawsuit. And here's a little detail that I thought was interesting. It costs $55,000 a year to go to Lehigh University. This young woman is the daughter of a professor. She pays nothing. So she's paid nothing for this degree, and yet she wants the university to cough up $1.3 million. That, to me, is beyond the payoff. Right, and it, there's such a simple solution. A, go to the teacher and see if you can work it out. If not, you take the grade or you take the class over again or you take another class over again. One C plus is it's not going to... It's one C plus is is not going to ruin your university career. Ashley. But it's my understanding that this did ruin her career. She wasn't actually able to get the degree that she wanted in her program because of this Which would have allowed her grade. to do what she wanted to do, right? Well, and the other thing is she actually participated in class. She attended all of the classes. It's my understanding that she is the only student in the history of Lehigh University to she actually was, get a zero for class participation. She was verbally abusive in the class. When she attended all of them. She had these outbursts in the class. I mean, the teacher, what is the teacher going to do? That's, she's that's part, for the rest of the class. I mean, the, she's not lucky she didn't get the argument. Actually, points. Your turn. The, the part of the argument, though, is that she actually was in class, and she's saying one thing, and the teacher's saying another, and that's why we come to court. We come Come to court to settle these disputes, well, to have civil Ashley, justice, my friend, and have a judge what, Here's what happened. The judge threw it out. So, Ashley, what do you say to that? The judge isn't siding with you? Should, should this young woman try to seek a higher uh, court? I mean, they, you know, whether or not she should appeal is something she's got to discuss with her attorneys, but that means the system works. If the judge threw it out after hearing all the evidence, that means our system Boy. actually works. Well, I wonder what we paid for that. Uh, uh, exactly. And one of the things the judge said is that there is not one single case in the U.S. history on point on this. So it's never happened right. before. And that and Ashley, that's my understanding. The judge said there wasn't. Um, you know, I think that the judge might have gotten it right because the judge actually heard all of the testimony. It's my understanding the judge is actually a professor himself, <laughs> so he was probably in the be in the best position oh. to evaluate. This. I hope oh, we're not coming to law <laughs> you know, It's seat. amazing to me that we hear, so here's the like wheels within wheels. Right. So she's the daughter of a professor, right. a professor who has to continue working at the university after this woman bringing the lawsuit. Ashley, Lise, great job, great guys. It. It's, it, that's an astonishing case to me. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well.